talking, being in the minority in this male dominant conspiracy theorist world is not easy, not easy, but I'm not easy, but I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. I would tell this, I would deliver the truth, I would deliver the latest gossip, gossip, I don't care, I don't care, no filters, no filters. I'm always so the show that you guys, this is, this is, show, show, show. Here we are with another video and this one is about Terrence Howard whom I'm a huge fan of by the way but there are some things about him that's eyebrow raising. Now you know I like to give a brief intro before I go in deep so here we go. Terrence Deshaun Howard. Oh and do know this is just a quick snip. I'm not going into a whole biography about this dude so please don't expect that. So if I miss a lot of details just put them below for everyone else to read okay. Alright, moving forward. Anyway, he was born on March 11, 1969 in Chicago, Illinois to Tyrone Howard and Anita Hawkins Howard. He is also the great-grandson of stage actress Minnie Gentry. He's mixed with African and Anglo ancestry. Although he was born in Chicago, Illinois, he was raised in Cleveland, Ohio and experienced a rocky childhood. He often got severe beatings from his also domestically abusive father. It gets deeper. He even witnessed his father at the age of two years old stabbing another man in the Santa line slaying. His father then had to spend 11 months in jail for manslaughter upon his father getting out. His parents got a divorce. He then moved in with his great grandmother who died shortly after he moved in. Howard allegedly received his engineering degree in 1993 and he then claimed to have finally received his PhD in chemical engineering from South Carolina State University in 2013. He was also awarded a honorary doctor of humane letters. Terrence also knows how to play the guitar and the piano. We know this. Anyway, shortly after Howard appeared in the Iron Man as Lieutenant Colonel James. He was named um, James Rhodes, you know, Rhodes. Um, aside from Tony Stark, you know, slash Iron Man, he was his best friend. Anyway, when his career started, when he portrayed Jackie Jackson in the, you know, the Jackson and American Dream. Y'all remember that documentary movie, whatever you want to call it? Then he had another big film break and won an Academy Award in a movie named Hustle and Flow. Then he was in the movie sequel called The Best Man and many others and also one of the popular TV series Empire and so on and so forth with his career. Let's move forward. It seems that Howard have been married four times with three different women. He has five kids and two grandchildren. Now, it was the second wife, Michelle Gent, who got a restraining order against him in 2011 because he had apparently physically abused her. Oh, there's more. Back in 2001, he was charged with a violent attack toward his wife, including assault, terrorist threats, harassment, and stalking his wife. He was 32 years old at this time. Anyway, according to police reports, he and his wife at the time had a huge argument on the phone. Apparently, the argument was bad enough because he had then rushed to the house and then forced himself in and proceeded to chase her to the backyard and started to punch her repeatedly. He would have killed her, but his brother stepped in and broke up the fight. Oh, I'm still not done. He later got arrested for assaulting Continental Airline flight attendant and after refusing to return to his seat, even though the seatbelt sign was on. Mm -hmm. Now, back to the drama with his ex-wife, Michelle Gent, whom he used as a punching bag, people like to describe it. Yeah, he really, I think he only married the girl just to, <sighs> this is sick, let's move forward. Anyway, basically they say he was just like his father with his temper. Then in 2011, the judge finally granted his wife training order because she <laughs> had plenty physical injuries that caused her to seek medical attention. You know, she was in and out of the hospital when she was married to him. Not to mention he broke her computer and he threatened her life and so on and so forth. Oh, I'm still not done. He wasn't finished assaulting her. I have to go to work. Sorry, I got to make this quick. He wasn't finished assaulting her because in 2013, she had got another restraining order because he beat her up again. I don't know why these women go back to these men. I mean, what is... Uh, moving on. Anyway, not to mention, she showed up in court with a black eye. Mm -hmm. Of course, he denied the altercation and said, oh, it was just pepper spray and that's why her eye got that way. 
Uh huh. But later he finally admitted by saying she was talking to real to him and he just lost his mind and slapped her in front of the kids so he admitted this thing now we all know that terrence howard is currently in a hit tv series empire and he plays lucius lion well word on the street is that they wanted to cast wesley snipes but taraji wanted terrence howard to be her co-star believe it or not i think they both would have pretty much done a good job on that um, role, be honest. Anyway, aside from his violent temper and shady ways, he is a good actor, but a woman should never date him because the violent part of his personality has not changed. He's still known to go upside a woman. As far as the leak, there is no information about that. I'm not sure if he joined it yet, but do know it was offered, I'm sure. Now, tell me what you think below. If you know any information about if he joined the elite, if he sold his soul or anything of that nature, please leave it below. Oh, and by the way, this will be the last video until after the holidays. I think I made enough videos to last you all. Also, I'm sure there's enough videos for you to fight, criticize, belittle each other, and especially me. <laughs> but I still love you anyway. Have a wonderful holiday and speak to you all soon. Bye-bye. look at a listed video and a sneak peek at my upcoming video script you can also see the making of one of my videos mm -hmm. even have a personal chat with me and much more so become part of the truth show family there is no fee just donation you can help me build and recruit more leaders and open more eyes oh don't forget to follow me and or like me on twitter facebook and instagram if you want to listen while working out or driving listen to me on soundcloud and speaker all the links are below hope to see you all soon don't miss it, ladies. Get your life.